Hey guys, what's going on? So I'm about to hop in the Uber to meet my bestie for his birthday. So let's hit it guys, see you later. So guys, I made it to Cancun five hours later. The flight was pretty quick. And now we're gonna get our transportation. to Playa, a foreign Playa, uh -huh. and the last one, uh, Monday. Yep. Oh, okay, guys. I have a question on you guys. What's going on? It's the first day in Tulum. It's my best friend's birthday. And we're about to do some riding around this beautiful, beautiful jungle. First thing first, we're gonna go to the ruins and see all the Tulum, the Tulum ruins. They have several here near the beach. And then from there, we're going to a beach club and relax and have finally something to eat because we're in the jungle there's no food here we didn't get any food before we came we came during like the night time so i'm really excited about uh the switch up and a good time and then let's see where this goes first day in out of seven days and i mean so far it's a beautiful place y'all i love it and the airbnb is amazing one birthday boy ready to fuck it up on this goddamn thing real quick i'm so excited I'm, I'm gonna be a princess passenger for the day. No problem, my ass can't drive, so let's go, let's go. Any last words, any last words? <laughs> well, somebody gonna die tonight. <laughs> to the ruins, the entryway. It's pretty hot. There's two uh, ways to pay, but we're almost there. Hey guys, what's going on? So this is my last day here in beautiful Tulum. First time here and we came from Los Angeles. Now from Los Angeles, it was about a five hour flight. And then the time difference, it kind of felt like about three hours. And then from there we took the Edo bus. That's the most cheapest way to get to Tulum and also Playa del Carmen. And that was about 20, 20 US dollars. And we took it straight there. Got here, got here around maybe like eight o'clock, so it was pretty dark, so we really couldn't see the full experience because it was so dark in the city. But once we got to our Airbnb, as you can see, we were super excited about it. We had our own bathrooms, our own bedrooms, and we had a private pool, and we're in the middle of the jungle. So, um, you know, Wi-Fi and things are not the best, um, so make sure you get your SIM cards for that, for Wi-Fi just in case you have business here and you need you to get things done. Um, other than that, um, we did a lot here so far. We went to 
the uh, Tulum Ruins, um, where the Mayans built them. They're really beautiful. They're right off the coast. And then if you want to stay for a little bit longer, they have um, beach passes and buses take you straight to the beach. Or you can just take your um, RTVs or scooters and, and kind of avoid paying the extra fee. And just go to the beach and hang out at a restaurant. And that's what we did on our full day here in Tulum. So we wasn't here for a really long time because we're going to the next spot, Playa del Carmen, taking the same bus straight there. It's a little bit cheaper. It's about maybe $16 from Tulum to Playa del Carmen. And it's going to be an amazing adventure. So please stay tuned because I'm super excited. And this Airbnb will be linked in my bio because I'm, when I'm telling you, it was a amazing experience and the host that had us here really gave us all the options for the restaurants um events museums anything you wanted to do she had all the listings so if you wanted to kind of disconnect from everything and be, be in paradise for a couple of days this is the place to be and there's also other beautiful airbnbs in the area that are also like a1 so definitely check it out um and then we're now heading to Playa del Carmen next for our extended trip for four days so let's see where this goes and 